Hey guys, Yummy here again, and a few days ago I had quite possibly the closest game that you can possibly have in Battlefield. 1200 tickets down to the absolute wire, and this game was so great that I just thought I'd do a commentary on it and talk about what happens during the game and what I think to do in those certain, certain situations. Well, after a short-lived life inside of the attack helicopter because the lock-ons were most certainly real, I spawn on my, on my squad mates and find a whole bunch of them all on this hillside behind D, and in fact, this is where a lot of my teammates spent a lot of the round doing, just sitting around around on the hillside by D and that really made me really upset because that doesn't really help the team out very much and in fact it, it pretty much just hurts your team so I ended up spawning in the attack helicopter again and doing pretty poorly to say the least it was pretty short-lived like the first run so I get out and begin my way down to sea. My team most certainly was not doing the best of jobs at the beginning of this round. We only had one base, very nearly getting all capped to start out the round, and that's something that you most definitely want to avoid on this map, especially if on your US team. We are on the Russian team, but for the US team it's especially difficult trying to get back into it because you're at the bottom of that hill and it's really easy to take you out from the top of the hill. But we managed to push down to sea and clear it out and cap m multiple other bases but then my team really starts to focus a little bit too much on the hangar. A little while later after a few excursions to the other bases especially D and E we lose C once again so I'm back on my way to it slowly ascending making sure to take out every enemy because you know that one guy that you don't kill yourself can always come back to haunt you so I always try to make sure to take him out myself unless I personally see my friendlies taking him out for me and they keep spawning on this base it definitely was a hassle and slowly but surely our teammates also managed to push up with us and I managed to revive my teammates because I always try to help out my teammates as much as possible. This is actually a pretty epic clip if you watch what's going on. This ends up being probably the most staunch defense of a base that I've seen in many, many games. Uh, it comes down to just me and another squad mate taking on practically two squads of enemies as we were running around trying to cap C and then defend it after we're capping it. I see so many dead friendlies around and I can't manage to revive them all before the enemies just become too numerous to where I need to go back onto the offensive. Now wait around after a few explosions I see that guy take him out and run over quickly to respawn my dead squad mate just in time. Just too many bad guys and I just managed to get this one quick sneaky knife off before I'm finally taken out by someone else. But fortunately my teammate managed to knife him and then give me the revive. So I look around a little bit more, make sure that we take out the last of the enemies and C is finally clear. Having killed the last few enemies I managed to get one last revive off before I decide to move on and see it's pretty much golden for that time being and we go on to what pretty much becomes the focus of the entire second half of the round which was E is that dreadful hilly area with the multiple little ditches that guys like to hide in and it's very open around the edges and the enemy was definitely focusing on this base and we had to do numerous offensives on it throughout the round and uh, it, it was pretty pretty bloody I have to say myself. After I take out that parachuter I go on looking for other enemies to kill to help secure E as much as possible and if you can see on the flag status icons on the bottom left of the screen there's flags flashing all throughout the map it was very tough managing to hold a base in this map the enemy team was doing a very good job of constantly putting pressure on our bases and while a lot of times like this moment here we may have had too many friendlies at E for our own good so where we weren't able to really focus on the other bases uh, we we were really being spread thin a lot of points in this game and I wasn't really sure how we managed to bring it close at the very end uh, as close as we did. Fast forwarding a little bit later we begin losing a lot of the advantage that we had gained over the enemy team. We had about 120 tickets on them at one point but it the gap now begins to s s close slowly as we begin losing more of the bases and our team's momentum loses speed. We recap E after having lost it and I decide to go down to F to uh, cap it and close off their spawn just 
trying to cap the bases outside of the hangar. We, at the beginning of the game, my team was really focusing on the hangar, and of course they got shut in there, and eventually we were able to turn the enemy team into the hangar and managed to close them in there and cap all the bases outside, but this was long past and I ran out of ammo, so I pick up this enemy's bulldog and run in and do a nice 420 MLG moment. After killing those enemies, I run over and try to revive my teammate. The first one doesn't really work because apparently if there's any object at all in the way, you won't revive the guy for you, and we managed to cap F. Later in the same life, I exhaust the ammo with the bulldog and pick up another guy's kit, and he put a laser sight and a flur sight on the same gun for some reason. I don't really know why. And of course the AWS is too strong so I go on a nice little kill streak run here trying to cap D. My team is just losing its grip and the enemy team has regained the lead on us for the first time since maybe 20 minutes into this 45 minute long round. Take out these last two guys and try to get this guy with the magnum <laughs> three times scope with a flashlight on it for some reason and I'm taken out by a sniper. On the next life, I knew it was down to the wire. We were down in the flag count, so we ha I knew we had to cap this base in order to have a chance at winning. If we manage to get the three flags to where both teams have three, then it's just down to the kills on who wins. Because whenever you're tied in flag caps, there is no ticket bleed whatsoever except for kills. So we managed to cap D here after facing off a lot of enemies and manage to just kill as many as we can before we're finally brought down. And there we go, we managed to cap it, I managed to kill that guy, but the, there's just too many enemies coming from the hills behind D, and we even start to lose one of our other bases at this point. Reviving just because every single revive takes one ticket away from the enemy team, and this is just absolutely nerve-wracking. This is like being the only person left on a CSGO match trying to go clutch, and I'm finally taken out because I venture out of that house that I've kept that had kept me alive for so long. So at this those two guys get taken out by, by Claymore. It just comes down to the waiting game. Do not spawn because it wastes that ticket and we were just wanting to see what happened. But of course, since we lost that third base, they got the majority of flags, so we lost by default burning. So that was probably the closest round that you can possibly have in Battlefield. 1 to 0 after a 1200 ticket. 45 minute long match. It was absolutely crazy. It was a really great game. A lot of it was cut out obviously because this is only a 8 minute long video and it was a 45 minute long match but most of it was pretty slow paced so I just wanted to choose the parts that were most interesting. So this was a pretty amazing match. If you guys had a match that was like this make sure you say it down in the comments and if you guys like this make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. This is Yummy. Goodbye and good hunting.